hey guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm gonna show you how to create a slider when you're using gutenberg so by default gutenberg doesn't have any slider but here we're gonna use a plugin and we'll be creating a slider that is looks like this and as you can see in my screen and we're gonna create this slider inside our wordpress website so if you're using any kind of wordpress theme it doesn't matter but you can implement following this video so let's get started first of all you have to navigate to wordpress dashboard and then right now i'm using the default wordpress theme which is the 2025 fresh wordpress installation so it's not an existing website but if you're using any existing websites or any websites or your client projects you can follow this so first of all i'm going to install a plugin by clicking on add plugin and i'm going to type here spectra hit enter and spectra has a lot of other blocks uh, including the slider and i really like their slider if you do not want to use other blocks from this plugin you can deactivate them perfectly so i'm just installing the spectra and now click on activate i'm going to show you how you can deactivate other blocks if you are not using them so if you want to keep only the slider then you can keep it now from spectra dashboard go to the blocks and as you can see there are some pro blocks and there are some other blocks that is activated and all of them are activated so now i'm gonna deactivate all of them so all of the blocks has been deactivated now so here you can see i just wanted to activate the slider now click on activate that's it so now i'm gonna create a new page here so i just open a new tab so that i can keep back here if it's necessary now let's go back to our new page so there are several slider but those are not gutenberg friendly or gutenberg slider basically but a spectra i personally enjoy this one because it can be done everything inside the gutenberg block editor now if you're still in interested to learn more about the spectra i have whole new tutorial that you can follow in my youtube channel and i will attach the video link into my these video descriptions basically and also inside the eye icon now take a look at here there is a spectra and all of the blocks has been deactivated but only the default one like if you want to create slider you might want to use heading image button info box call to action so these are the default you cannot deactivate them now i'm going to click container here select the container that's it and just drag the slider here and as you can see the slider is very simple and straightforward so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this documents overview and click on slider you can see there are three slides by default now click on publish and see how it looks like by default view the page here so by default the slider looks like this now if you want to edit this slider you can simply click over here and as you can see it takes me to the exact place where you want to add content and images now close this one first and add a name inside the page i forgot to add the name here as well now the info box comes with the slider i do not want to use info box or if you want you can use it completely fine so first of all i would like to add a background image inside the slider so i'm going to select the slide child here and i can add a background image here um, to add a background image inside my slider and i can also add a gradient here now let's add a background image but if i select the parent slider here you can see there is a minimum height let's adjust the height first and go to the child slider and add a background image by clicking over here click here and now go to the media library or you can just directly search here because when you activate the spectra there is an options to download image uh, using their api to insert inside your wordpress dashboard directly now let's insert this one so as you can see the image has been added successfully here but there is a problem the image is not displaying a full height which is an issue right so if you take a look at here you can see uh, there is no options to add height here and that's why i wanted to share with you and edit the image here so let me show you what is the perfect place for adding image with a full height of the slider so i'm going to remove this one if you want to use the background image for the slider just remove it from here you have to add background image from the container which is inside the child slider inside the container you have to navigate to styles and from here you can add a background video you can add image you can add gradients and color so let's add image here select this one and select 
that's it now here is an interesting thing if you take a look at here there's an options for minimum height so i'm going to adjust the height i can easily adjust the height here and from layouts you can adjust the alignments and other things okay so go to the styles and you can see there's another options called overlay so the overlay will allow you to add a darker color here and add the opacity so I'm going to change a little bit here and I'm going to change the style inside this text and slider heading. Let's select info box and go to the style step from here. Adjust the title. Let's change the title font size first. Make slider one bigger. Change the slider color to the white color and select the descriptions from here and change the color to white. Okay. And now let's go to the call to actions and you can adjust the button padding, but I'm not going to do that as of now so i just wanted to keep it like this way and select the descriptions and add bottom margin 40 pixel now as you can see if i save and go to our websites and reload the first slider looks like this and the second one is completely blank so you can make this slider full width you can make this slider vh 100 percent and you can add a lot of things here so let me take a look at here when i select the container go to the general and you can see make it full width and as of now when i select the full width it really depends of what theme you are using if your theme allow you to use full width then they will definitely change the width and also remove the other unnecessary spacing from the slider let's remove and here is another spacing go to the styles spacing and remove from here and also there is another spacing go to styles spacing and remove the padding so basically what i did here i have select each and every single child item from here and remove the padding each and every single child item still there is some padding here but i if i add padding you can see it looks like this so i just wanted to make it zero and later if it's necessary for mobile optimization for tablet i will add some padding later on not right now now click save and reload the page so as you can see the slider looks like this so i'm using 2020 5 wordpress theme and it doesn't let me to make the slider full width or 100 percent width but let's take a look at here if there is any templates and we can change it so now i'm gonna navigate here and select uh, templates and then change template and i'm going to choose page no title as of now but it will just hide the title it will not going to reduce the uh, width and it will not going to stretch the slider width now still as you can see it's not full width it just hide the title as i said now still if you want to make it full width you can simply navigate to the edit side from here and now select here the content area and then as you can see there's a layout option i'm gonna just disable this one to make it full width and now click save and from here visit this page so as you can see our slider is now full width and if i click over here it's working perfectly but still when it's full width the arrow is little bit changing its position so what i'm gonna do i'm going to navigate to the editor and reload this page or reload the editor as well and now if i select here let's copy this slider several times uh, we can remove the other child i just wanted to duplicate this one and change images so that it looks different that we are landing or navigating to another slide i'm gonna just change or update the image here with a different image okay slide two and navigate to the slide three search image Okay, I don't know why the source image is not working here. So let's save and reload and try again. And then select our third slider by clicking on the third slider child and go to the styles, select image. So it's now working here. I'm going to select this one. And now, as you can see, the arrow is displaying a little bit a different place which is not supposed to be there now if i select the slider you can see there is several other options so you can auto play the slider you can speed up the 
slider speed you can pause on hover you can uh, interaction on hover or you can just select none here and also you can choose infinite loop and there is a minimum height as well and the transition effect you can make it fade you can change it to the flip and also you can change the speed as well now it's time to understand the navigation when i select the navigation here is arrow and dot so you can disable the arrow if you want to disable this one or if you want to disable the dot so you can disable the dot as well let's keep both of them and now go to the style tab. and from style tab, you can see here there is arrow and dots and also there is a content alignment if you want to change the alignment you can change it but right now it's not gonna change because i have added content inside the container and it should be changed from the container now from background i'm not going to change or anything else here globally because i have added background individually for different slider so you can literally do a lot of things inside here when you're using the slider options now from border basically you can add border you can add box shadow now let's navigate to the most interesting part that i wanted to show you which is the arrow and dots basically here you can see you can adjust the arrow and dot sizes easily which is in the free version and you can adjust the padding as well and you can change the background color let's change it to red color or black color or white color or make it transparent and change the arrow color to the white and now you can see here there is arrow distance from edge now i can increase and you can see there is some distance and it's now displaying inside the slider and the top margin which is as you can see the dots which is the top margin which is spacing and changing its space here and there's border radius now if i just go to the child slider and let's add some spacing at the left and right side by selecting the info box or container just go to the general and if you take a look at here you can adjust the width and it will adjust the width of the image as well but i do not want to do that i'm gonna navigate to the style step and go to the spacing and from padding let's make it 20 first and then on the left side make it 120 and on the right side 120 that's it which is the second slide and now go to the first one add 20 right should be 120 left should be 120 go to the third slider add 20 and right should be 120 left should be 120 that's it click save and go to our websites and reload so now as you can see the slider looks perfect and it's fully mobile optimized and you can use it anywhere any pages now at the same time if you take a look at here uh, there is inside the info box if you do not want to use info box here you can remove this one you can add any kind of block or any kind of widgets inside your slider if you do not want to use background image you can just remove it and forget it and you can use two column multiple column or whatever slider layouts you want you can use you can create easily when you're using this gutenberg slider it's really useful and i personally use most of my client projects so that's all for today if you have any other questions please feel free to ask me have a good day bye